So do you think the reason why they went after you so hard and they and and had to take you down, they had to do all this nefarious stuff, twist your words to, to take you down, was so that they could set a precedent, so they knew what was coming, so they knew that they were going to want to censor uh, anybody and everybody, and so they had to have somebody to start with, and that's what that was? I, I actually know this, and I always forget the name of the article because I don't usually subscribe to stuff, but I had to get behind a paywall to find it. About six months before I got deplatformed in August of 2018, when Tim Cook literally held a powwow meeting, he admitted and decided to curate me, and they wouldn't even say why. And then they gave some fake reasons later, not Sandy Hook. Um, I remember six months before that, I don't remember the exact Wall Street Journal headline, but there was another article about it called, Hold on to your tinfoil hat, Alex Jones. I think it was like Gizmodo. Hold on to your tinfoil hat, Alex Whoa. Jones. You're about to be... You're about to be taken off the air. And then it was a synopsis of the Wall Street Journal. This Wall Street Journal article was one of those articles for the corporate elite. And so it was like 25 pages long. I go subscribe to it. And I forget the exact headline. And it, and it was NATO meeting with the tech heads in Europe wow. and meeting with News, with, with, with News Corps. And they said in the article, uh, don't worry when News Corps splits and sells its entertainment uh, division. We're still going to be popular. So this was to the shareholders of, of, of News Corps through the Wall Street Journal that they actually you know, also own on, on the news division when it split. And I'm, so I'm reading this 20-something page article, and it says, soon the internet will be like cable TV. I think they use Netflix as an example. You'll have a thousand channels maybe, but that'll be it. We're not going to let people go to all these old sites and alternative sites, and we're going to do it by going after Assange when the left doesn't stand up for him and the journalists don't. We'll have the left. Then we're gonna we're gonna de we're demonizing Alex Jones. He's a horrible person. When we then take him off the air, and the right wing doesn't stand up because they don't want to be next. Then when we take off the next person, the next person, the next person, it's, it's human nature. No one will stand up, and we'll take them all, liberals and conservatives. And it's I've got to find that article again. But it was a twenty-something page battle diagram. So I go on air with it, and I say I'm about to be taken off because that was a. High-level article, not for pop culture, but for real business people to invest in News Corp when they split their, their entertainment division. And they explained, we're going to end freedom on the Internet, and we're going to use this punk to do it. So I, it wasn't that I was that important. They, I was big, sure. And I was populist, and they fear that. And I was uncontrolled. But they chose me because I did do clownish stuff a lot, and I, and I still do. I have fun. I'm on the air four hours a day. And so I, I was just chosen as patient zero along with Julian Assange. It was me and Julian is, is who was in the article, and it's very cold-blooded. So, yes, they admit that I was the first domino. And the, the feds tried to take your cat, right? Were you able to keep him? Uh, it's, it's actually true. Um, my my uh, wife, the cat's like four years old now. Uh, we got for my now six-year-old daughter. She wanted a cat. The other cat we loved so much had, had snuck out of the house and got down the street and got run over. And so uh, we heard that ragdoll cats were really great. Other Joe Rogan stories, this is the best cats ever, super smart. So I get a ragdoll, and folks, they are amazing. Uh, it's, like, it's like a dog. It's super smart. We go on walks on the golf course and follow us. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. Listen, one day I walk in when the cat's a year old, and it's on the toilet pissing. Sw didn't teach it out. It just saw us doing it. Swear to God, strike me down if it's not true. And so, so my point is, I'm in a deposition with the U.S. Justice Department and like six lawyers, no, seven lawyers deposing me in the conference room. They came here in a conference room right through those doors. And they look at me and, and, and the, federal, the federal Justice Department says, Mr. Jones, how much did your cat cost? And I said, I think it cost $2,000. And they said, all right, well, we're going to put that on there as an asset. You're going to have to give up. And I said, is that a joke? And they said, no, we're, we're serious. Uh, and, but they're going to give me an opportunity. My bankruptcy is almost over. I'm selling everything right now, which I don't even care about, including this watch soon. Uh, and uh, I'm going to have to have my dad or somebody uh, buy the cat for me. So, no, they, they are trying to take the cat. Wow. Kind of, kind of unbelievable. Uh, I, I mean, I know that doesn't sound real. Sounds real to me. I think the the pigs. The news. The news called them and they admitted it. They think that's great. Like they think, like, yeah, his whole life. 
It, it's it's like uh, cancel pigs, but but you know, with the real full force of the U.S. government behind them. I'm just fired up to be on and to actually get out of the matrix because I I am like in phantom zone on my own show weekdays. I'm on some radio stations. A lot of folks come to Infowars.com, but other than that, they could. The worst part about being canceled and, and being uh, deplatformed is they can now build this fake person however they want. And so they don't just silence you. That'd be okay. You're like, go away like Obi-Wan Kenobi. No, they then build this person you're not. And so, oh, it gets worse. They'd run headlines. Alex Jones sends child porn to Sandy Hook families. And I couldn't go on Twitter. I couldn't go on Facebook and say that's not true. They subpoenaed 9 million emails. They said, no, it's not enough. We want all, and we were dumb enough, because why are we even storing it? to have 15 years of emails on this email system. And we said, screw it. My lawyer said, nothing to hide. We searched it. None of me scheming against them. None of me talking about them. I had crazy sending me emails about Sandy Hook, which they later put in the court. Look what this lady sent you. Doesn't that sound bad? Oh, that's the proof I'm bad. And someone who was attacking me for questioning Sandy Hook sent me emails with embedded invisible links to child porn. They just happened to scan uh, the millions of emails and find the, the 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 hidden links. So we got a letter from the FBI in days saying Mr. Jones is the victim of this. They were actually nice and did that. And Jones is not a suspect. He, these were unopened emails because they give it to the FBI. These are unopened emails that he never opened. He's the victim of someone sending it to him. It's like swatting somebody, but you know, yeah, right. a, a, another form of so so. So, but, oh, the headlines didn't say that. The headlines said Alex Jones sends child porn. Really, why am I not in jail? So, again, that tells you about these PR firms. Yeah. It's like you're running for office, but just to live your life. Yeah, yes, yes. Come see us do a live stand-up show. We'll be in Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Boston, Massachusetts, and we're going to Europe. Do you live in Europe? We're going to be there. Go to jibbydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. (laughs) 